ladies and gentlemen, there is an absolute ton of used sailboats hitting the market. I've seen dozens of a specific make and model come on the market just in the last few weeks, and it's only going to get more chaotic from here. So let's take a look today, see what kind of vessels are hitting the market, and see if you might be able to get yourself a deal so you can get on the water sooner than later. I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there are tons of used sailboats hitting the market, prices are dropping, so it's time to get serious. I have a free spreadsheet linked in the description. Get a copy of it and start to track the vessels you're interested in so when the time comes, you know right off of the bat if it's a good deal or not. Now let's take a look today and see what kind of vessels are currently hitting the market. Obviously, it's going to be the larger manufacturers, the more popular ones, the Benetos, Junots, Hunters. Catalinas, things like that. So what exactly do we have hitting the market? Well, as an example, just a few short weeks ago, my absolute dream vessel, the Juno 349. There was about six of these listed on the market. The least expensive one was 100K, and all the other ones listed were right around 160K. However, just in the last few weeks, we now have dozens of the Juno 349 listed. There's about a dozen of them specifically that are all right around 100K. Now, just a few short weeks ago, that was absolutely unheard of. We've now got a page and a half of these that all come in under 120K and another page and a half where they go up in price from there. But the Chanel 349 is a fantastic little vessel. It's a little bit out of my price range, hence making it my dream vessel. But what else do we have on the market? Well, up next we have Hunter sailboats. Now, like these vessels or don't like them, it doesn't matter. They are an absolute value and the best bang for the buck, generally speaking. There are currently dozens of these listed under $50,000 that would be fantastic for the solo sailor or a couple, especially if you're honest with yourself about what type of sailing you're really going to be doing. There are a bunch of Hunter 340s, Hunter 320s, the 326, all for well under $50,000 and located all over the United States. This would be a fantastic bargain for somebody getting into sailing for the first time. It's not going to break the bank and the ones I'm currently seeing on the market are in pretty good shape and aren't going to require a lot of work or time on the hard to actually get you sailing right now. Hunter is always a fantastic deal. No, I don't work for Hunter. I don't care. They're just a fantastic vessel that has a lot of value and bang for your buck when you're in that budget range of $50,000 or less. A lot of these hunters are absolutely capable of the occasional Atlantic crossing, coastal cruising, island hopping, and things like that. The majority of sailors are going to do just that coastal cruising and island hopping. You might hit the Bahamas, do some cruising in the Caribbean, and you don't need a $300,000 or $500,000 so-called blue water boat to get that done. A lot of these sailboats are perfectly capable of that. And then as your sailing experience grows, you do an Atlantic crossing, bounce around the Mediterranean, and then from there decide if sailing's really for you, it's what you wanna do full time for the rest of your life. And then you move on to a different vessel if circumnavigation is your goal. If circumnavigation is not your actual goal and you haven't looked into the cost of doing a circumnavigation and the time involved, then stick with some of these other vessels that are going to be much more suited to your personal needs without killing the bank account. A lot of people get hung up on this silly, well, what if? What if I decide to, what if nothing? Let's focus on reality. Because of saving YouTube vloggers, everybody thinks they need to run out now and buy yourself a quote unquote blue water boat. And then you can be just like these vloggers, throwing good money after bad when you could have just gotten yourself a nice vessel capable of the exact same things and for far less money. Let's not do that this year. Let's get you on the water and get you following your dreams sooner than later. Stop chasing this silly idea of a blue water boat. You're not gonna go cruise the Antarctic. You're not Shackleton. Let's stop the nonsense and get real. What kind of vessel works specifically for you? Now up next on the market, Benetos. We have so many Benetos hitting the market, it's mind blowing. 
It's not surprising as Beneteau is the largest manufacturer and yes, several of them are 100% capable of crossing oceans. As a matter of fact, more Beneteaus cross oceans every year than any other manufacturer made. There's a whole bunch of Beneteau 331s on the market, right around $50,000. A bunch of 361s hitting the market, a bunch of 350s, the Beneteau 35. There are just dozens and dozens of these starting to flood the market, and it's only going to get more crazy from there. Defour, they make a fantastic vessel, and there's about a dozen 365s that have just hit the market right around $50,000. Hans, that's another fantastic manufacturer, more than capable of the occasional ocean crossing, and coastal cruising as well as island hopping. The Hans 350 is a great little vessel for a couple and is perfect to get you anywhere you would like to go. And right now on the market, there's a bunch of them listed right around $60,000. Prices are coming down. And if we just hang on a little bit longer and do our research, we should be in pretty good shape here. Catalinas, another popular manufacturer, are absolutely flooding the market. Now, Catalinas tend to be a bit overpriced, in my personal opinion, for what you get. However, they are a very, very popular vessel, and there's quite a few 30-footers, the Catalina 310, the Catalina 320, hitting the market. Several of them in Maryland, and they're coming in right around $60,000. There's also Bavaria. Bavaria has a ton of fantastic vessels, and right now you can pick up a Bavaria 37 Cruiser, a 2007, for right around $60,000. When you see a large influx of vessels come on the market, there's going to be a ton, and I mean an absolute ton, of incorrect listings. A perfect example is that there's a Beneteau Oceanus 38.1 listed on the market for $65,000 in Granada. Now that sounds like a great deal. The funny thing is, is the 38.1 didn't come out until 2017. The vessel's not a 38.1, it's a Beneteau Oceanus 38. Two completely different vessels at completely different price points, and this listing is not alone. Do not be fooled by listings. Make sure that you get the spreadsheet that's in the description and start to track the vessels you want. Learn as much as you can about them so that you can spot these nonsense listings right off the bat. If you need any help getting on the water sooner than later. I suggest signing up for my patron. It's only $10 a month and that gets you access to our members area where there's hundreds of members all trying to get on the water as soon as possible and all in various stages of purchasing sailboats. It's a fantastic place to go for information as well as I am there every single day to answer questions and chit chat with anything sailing related you might need. You can also become a producer on the channel. Now a producer gets you a year's access to the members area as well as a one-on-one -on -one consult with me, and you also get your name listed at the end of every video for the next year. Also, in the description down below, I do accept crypto. So, if you're a crypto guy and you don't want to sign up for Patreon, I've got numerous wallets in the description. Shoot me 10 bucks in crypto and an email at chris at chasinglatitudes.com and I'll get you all set up on the members area. And then you're not locked into any contracts. If you decide it's not for you, no worries. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next video. And I hope to get you on the water sooner than later and saving money in the process.